all the details of these things. So you put all the package together, the quality went uh, really um, up. Uh, at the end of your USGS review panel, after reviewing and correspondence and hundreds of pages, questions and answers, USGS asked us, the developers, model developers, basically, you are, guys are the uh, same people who generated the previous attenuation model, not your generating NGA. Which one you are going to choose? And all of the, us, of course, uh, we said NGA, and uh, USGS also, based on their experience, they adopted USGS, uh, adopted NGA. Now, uh, we were working really uh, day and night on these things, and we published, and everything is out. Now we are saying that there is a flood of publications around the world, really, and we didn't really expect it, and we really, uh, we really didn't, uh, t uh, didn't think about this concept. Now they are checking NGA models with the original data, and they are finding out that generally NGA models are really applicable with, uh, in the various parts of the world. In Europe, Middle East, New Zealand, Latin America, Japan, Taiwan, China, it's amazing that we receive lots of paper and we are not involved really. They do, the researchers in China and other places. They take the NGA models, they check it against the regional data, their own data, and generally they conclude that NGA is applicable in the other parts of the world with the same tectonic uh, environment. Uh, documentation, basically, we have a bunch of uh, uh, reports, hundreds of pages, all the details that you want. If you're interested to, to go to the details, these are all free of charge. You can download the PDF um, uh, of the files. Uh, uh, the computer programs are also available at peer website. We don't want the modelers and others to uh, start uh, um, uh, do, uh, programming these models. Models are complicated. We don't want them to make any mistakes because we did uh, lots of mistakes ourselves. So. The QA version of all these things are available for use. And then we have uh, journal papers are available in uh, February 2008 of our Journal of Earthquake Spectra, a comprehensive uh, set of uh, papers. Now, NGFS2. So NGFS basically was done in 2008, and USGS adopted, and National Hazard uh, Maps um, are done. Just last Thursday, Thursday last week, basically, California Earthquake Authority approved a uh, major uh, project uh, with the peer uh, to, uh, that we follow up, basically, NGA West. Basically, uh, we are doing the things that the, we didn't have time and we didn't have budget to do in the last uh, version of NGA. Uh, so the funding is coming from California Airtrack Authority. Literally, uh, uh, we are starting a few days. We are going to start the project. The duration of the project is 30 months, basically. We are going to finalize directivity and directionality of the ground motion. When you, the site is very close to the fault, the characteristics are different than if you are 20, 30 kilometers away. We are going to fi finalize that. Uh, we are going to um, go over the uncertainty issues, epistemic, aleatory, and various different uncertainties. We are going quantify them basically uh, we are going to collect and analyze lots of ground motion data at lower magnitude as well as at um, intermediate and higher magnitude because we stopped the uh, collection of the data uh, in 2003 but since 2003, many major earthquakes uh, happened around the world that we, are, we would like to collect the data and uh, possibly um, adjust the models, including this 2003 BAM earthquake, 2004 Parkville earthquake, several earthquakes in Japan, in Europe, and most importantly, 2008 Wenchuan earthquake magnitude 7.9, uh, about 263 stations recorded the ground motion for that large magnitude. It's very important for us because, as you naturally you know, uh, we are not have, you don't have so many large magnitude well recorded ground motion around the world, events around the world. So we would like to collect the eventual data, uh, analyze them, and incorporate them into our database. Basically, we would like to get, um, get to the uh, bottom line of. Uh, discrepancy between soil factors in building codes and soil factors in um, uh, NGA, basically, as part of a, a CEA project. Uh, we are going to do um, a scaling because whatever we have is 5% damping. I don't want to get into the uh, details of that. It's for one level of uh, energy dissipation. We would like to uh, expand that. We would like to include vertical ground motion because, as I mentioned, NGA was all about horizontal motion. We didn't have 
have time, opportunity, and uh, funding to do vertical, we are going to do that. So in the next 30 months, we are going to um, basically uh, have an update of NGA West models in the next two and a half years. Hopefully, in by two years or so, we are going to have updated attenuation models. And by two and a half years, we are going to have basically um, updated models. Uh, we are going to pass them, them uh, to USGS for review. Now, NGA East. So whatever I have talked uh, is about uh, um, ground motions uh, similar to what we experience in California, shallow crustal earthquakes in active tectonic region. Basically, that's what it is. Lots of earthquakes uh, active. Uh, but uh, obviously, there are lots of um, regions around the world that they are not um, uh, as seismically, they're not as active as California, but they're very important. Like a huge majority of the U.S. basically is central eastern U.S. There are lots of facilities and, and so on. The ground motion models uh, are a little bit uh, um, uh, different than the West Coast, and we started a program with the funding of Nuclear Regulatory Commission, Electric Power Research Institute. Department of Energy and USGS. We just started last year uh, to basically to start from scratch. It's a six-year program basically to and develop attenuation model for <laughs> central eastern U.S. or in other words in the regions of low seismicity. Uh, uh, adopting the concept that we had for NGA West, which is based California basically, uh, now we go from magnitude four to eight. We go from distance of zero to 1,000 kilometers because USGS told us there are regions in the central eastern U.S. that there are overlaps and so on, so we want to go longer distance. Horizontal vertical ground motion, we are going to do that. We are going to do the same thing from 0.1 to one second to 10 seconds. Really, we are pushing the envelope for the central eastern um, uh, U.S. The schedule of NGA East is that by September 30, 2013, we have the uh, uh, more or less final attention models for Central Eastern U.S., then there is one year that USGS and other agencies are going to review all the details back and forth, and by September 30th, 2014, everything is done, and USGS can use uh, the new attenuation models for the next revision of the national hazard maps. In summary, NGA West, or now we call it NGA West 1, basically, is done, completed. 2008 uh, was the end of it. USGS adopted. NGA West 2, we just started uh, a few days ago, and uh, we are going to continue for 30 months, and we are going to update attenuation model for uh, Western U.S. And by September 2014, we are going to have a set of attenuation model for Central Eastern U.S. low seismicity. Thank you very much.